Big news for all golf fans in the province. Three more major champions have committed to play in the Champions Tour event at Canyon Meadows in Calgary in late August. Leading the way is Mark O'Meara, who won the Masters and British Open back in 1998. O'Meara is 56 years old now and had a terrific opening round at the Open Championship last week before faltering there. He could have won it maybe. Well, he was a long ways away, but great to see him start out so well. Tom Lehman will also be in the field. He won the British Open in 1996 and was the number one ranked player in the world briefly in 1997. He won on all four, or one, uh, four total times on the tour. And the other player announced today is 1989 British Open champ Mark Kalkovecchia. He has 13 career wins on tour and is always a crowd favorite. They will be joining the likes of Fred Couples and Kenny Perry. The Champions Tour event comes to Calgary starting August 28th. From the CFL, the Stamps could have their third starting quarterback of the season behind center this Friday when they face the Bombers in Winnipeg. To keep them guessing, Calgary Stampeders GM and head coach John Huffnagel won't name his starting quarterback until Friday. It will be either Bo Levi Mitchell or Drew Tate. Kevin Glenn is out with a wrist injury. From the Western Major Baseball League, the Okotoks Dogs were facing the Lethbridge Bulls last night in Lethbridge, and it was the Dogs defeating the Lethbridge Bulls for the second straight game. It was a battle all night with the Dogs sneaking away with a 3-2 victory. The Dogs and the Bulls will be back in action tonight at 7.05 in Okotoks at Siemens Stadium. And in one other game involving a team in our viewing area, the Medicine Hat Mavericks were in Edmonton, and they shut out the prospects 8-0. They also meet again tonight, 7.05 in Edmonton. New charges are pending in the 2011 Vancouver Stanley Cup riots, bringing the total to more than 1,200 offenses laid. Police are recommending an additional 118 charges against 27 people for their part in the riots that damaged the city. Two of the accused are 14 years old. Police used social media to track down most of the rioters but all are still looking for, or sorry, they are still looking for three of their top 10 suspects right now. It combines an age-old exercise with a serenity of the water, and it's a growing trend. It's called paddleboard yoga. You need a specialized paddleboard, water-like glass, and lots of nerve to test your balance in a whole new way in public. Anne-Marie Tiernan has the story. So as much as I can get you to kind of gather with me, you guys. It just might be the closest thing to walking on water. Yogis practicing poses on paddle boards. Do two more rounds just like that and then pause in your down dog. It's extremely popular. It is, it seems like it's blown up, especially this summer. So work on getting both legs completely straight. I think any time that we are around water, we are gonna feel more calm, more serene. The class uses specialized lightweight boards. It's pretty big, so. There's a lot of surface area and stuff on it, but at the same time, you have to think about more being planted more than you would standing on solid ground. Then go ahead and start to try down dog, and we'll just work from there. Leo leads through a standard flow, up dog, down dog. You need to slow down a little bit. The first thing, especially yogis or people who practice, want to come out and just do what they do really quickly. If they could just slow down a little bit, give them a little more time to their postures, start things from the knees even, if even postures you normally do. The hope is always that boaters will keep their distance, minimize the waves, which can really throw you off balance. Reposition the feet is my biggest tip. Get things a little shorter, a little smaller in nature towards the center. Um, that helps a lot. You can wear whatever. I'm way out there in the blue shirt doing what you have to do a lot, paddling and regathering, because the constant movement spreads the class. For new students, it's an opportunity to kind of learn postures in a way that when they come to the ground, they feel very much more stable. Standing poses that may not seem difficult on land are actually a lot more difficult on the board, so you kind of have to find your balance. Um, on a whole new plane. And don't worry, if you wobble off, you get to cool off. It's not like you're going to hurt yourself if you fall in or anything, so it's a, just a fun way to learn. And by the way, it's also a show for everyone on shore. It is the perfect blend of balance and serenity and strength and power.